Good evening, wonderful people, great dear friends, wherever you are on the face of this very planet, we welcome you to another exciting edition of Radio Biafra Live presentation and address by my humble self this very evening with the time now standing at seven minutes past seven p.m in the blessed land of biafra i welcome each and every one of you and as i do so i will encourage you to also welcome those around you you must bring your pen and your paper before we proceed i say good morning good afternoon good evening and good night to some of you because unlike any other broadcaster unlike any other platform we are being listened to across the entire 24 time zones on this very planet earth the children of light the very chosen race itself scattered due to the wickedness and evil of the persecutors those who have willingly turned themselves into the instruments of lucifer the instruments of darkness we have continued our relentless agitation for the restoration of the kingdom of earth upon this very land because only God in heaven has decreed it that we may inhabit the land of our ancestors and, of course, perform that which has been decreed of old. My name is Anam Dekanu. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and by the very special grace of Elohim, God Almighty, Chikwokika Biyama I will continue to serve the wonderful people of Biafra until that sacred land is restored, until the will of God prevails upon the lives of those who inhabit this very earth. We are resolute, we are relentless, we are determined we are undeterred we are unfazed we are without fear before our enemies our quest is to restore biafra and nothing absolutely nothing can stop us from doing so this is a live presentation as i said earlier you must bring your pen and your paper ready because this is the finest university you will ever attend here we speak the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth the children of darkness do not like it the animals that inhabit the noble zoological republic cannot comprehend it because they are not enlightened enough they are not educated enough they are not polished enough they are not educated enough of course to understand this very gospel of redemption we have come to set the captives free all those who have been enslaved in the damnable british colonial experiment all those who have been so overwhelmed by inferiority complex that they can only answer the name given to them by a white woman all those who are not polished enough to appreciate who they are all those who out of ignorance stupidity and hopelessness refer to themselves as nigerians they will not understand what we are doing because they are not intelligent enough they can never understand what we are doing because they were not born to understand it we are the very chosen people and our march towards freedom is unstoppable they can throw their presidency about as much as they like they can talk about restructuring all they like they can talk about their community policing all they like what we request what we want what we have fought for what we have died for is biafra 
then that Biafra must be restored. Or else, as they are now beginning to testify, the zoo called Nigeria will be worse than Somalia. This is a live presentation. And of course, before we proceed, we must pray. We must pray for Biafra. We must pray for all those who are being persecuted from southern Kaduna all the way to the thieves of the coast and the south. All those who have been forcibly removed from their land. We pray for all victims of genocide. We pray for the victims of Fulani terrorism. We pray for the victims of Caliphate Jihadi Islamic expansionism. And we also pray for Britain that they may repent from their evil ways. And do that which is right. And allow the very abominable experiment that they created. The very terrible, the life-consuming zoological republic of Nigeria to cease to exist the same way that other evil empires have collapsed. So one day shall the zoo collapse also. It doesn't matter how much those mothers and sinners pray. After all, go on. It is the sixth largest mass murderer in modern history. So his prayers can have I be entertained by heaven? God cannot listen to the prayers of those who are killers of mothers and of children, even those unborn. This evening we pray that the mercy of God in heaven will descend upon his children to give us a modicum of understanding, to give us the brain to be able to reason, to ensure that all those who are suffering in the zoo called Nigeria, all those who out of fear and ignorance have hitherto failed to speak out, will rise up and do so. We commit unto your hands, O Elohim, the march of the 20th of June in Washington, D.C., that the conscience of the world may be aroused, that the opinion of those who can speak May rise up, O oh Heavenly Father, to appreciate the magnitude of the disaster that is unfolding in Nigeria. That they may rise up, O oh Lord God in heaven, to speak the truth and damn the devil. To speak the truth and damn the caliphate. To speak the very truth and damn the consequences of the brutality of the terrorist regime in Asorok. Balance, standing for that which is true while seeking to extricate your children from the clutches of iniquity and evil wherever possible as we have ceaselessly demonstrated oh heavenly father we have stood firm these very ipob these very children of the most high we have remained strong in our faith demonstrating your grace upon our lives we have held those that call themselves leaders accountable while praying that one day they may receive wisdom that one day that their eyes may open, that one day they may seize of the knowledge that is available to recognize that they are willing tools of the caliphate, that they are only pawns in this great game of fulanization and wholesome bloody jihadism. We are from the words of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 for he says I looked for someone among them who would use up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so I would not have to destroy it but I found no one but we pray this night oh Lord God in heaven there is IPOB, you will look upon this very family that you your own forged in your bosom that this very gospel may be disseminated throughout the ends of this very earth that you may once again gather your children as you promised our ancestors only when we turn our face unto thee only when we worship you in truth and every honesty jettisoning and abandoning every god jettisoning and abandoning every graven image 
for there is only one God, indivisible, over time, the same way he was yesterday, today and forevermore. This IPOB will stand in that very gap. We shall lift up our nation, for Biafra can never die. Biafra is eternal. The oldest people on this very earth, the very epicenter of creation itself. We seek thy favors only, Father. We present our shortcomings before your throne of grace. And we pray that you will continue to perform your miracle upon this very family of IPOB. That Biafra may come in our time. That we may exalt thee, glorify your holy name, adore and worship you. In that very temple in Arochuku, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in this very present generation. And so shall it continue until the end of time. To your glory only. Chukoki Kadiana Purimi Hani in the now and forevermore we pray. He say, He say, He say, for it shall come to fulfillment. We shall very hastily proceed this evening to educate, to enlighten, to dissect to the knowledge of the world, the unspeakable disaster that the damnable British colonial contraption, that very death camp where animals are caged together, where there is no existent judiciary, there is no law, there is rampant banditry and lawlessness. Men have forgotten how to reason and act like human beings. They are being shepherded by a very primitive mindset of the Janjaweed Caliphate. That will never ever change. A people who cannot run a nation People who cannot boast of one poet. There is no artist amongst them. There is no scientist. There are not even any musicians amongst these people. They move cattle from place to place. Failing to embrace technology. Failing to be educated properly. Failing in every endeavor. They double into that is why in Nigeria that Britain gave to them is a complete and utter mess, a laughable joke, which unfortunately continue to consume the lives of the innocent. Maybe one day, just one day, their eyes will open. They will appreciate the gravity of the mess they are in. And who knows, they may be worthy to be called human beings. One day. I commence this very broadcast this evening by reciting the letter that Niamhodo wrote to the Inspector General of Police. It is a departure from our norm. It is a departure from how we do it here. But I have chosen to read this very letter aloud to the hearing whole of humanity. Because contained within this very letter is an absolute unequivocal vindication of everything that IPAB has ever done. This letter by Nyawodo to the IG of police in the zoo called Nigeria. My goodness. It demonstrates that we have been right all along. That it is only the short-sightedness, the envy, the jealousy, the greed amongst these men 
that have stopped them from coming out openly to acknowledge that this IPOB has lied all along. He titled the letter Road to Anarchy. The Road to Anarchy. That's what he called this very letter. I want our people to listen very carefully. I want the whole world to listen very carefully to those that tagged IPOB terrorists, to those who said we must be banned, to those who connived and conspired full of caliphate to kill their own people. Now they have seen the light, as I have always known. I'm convinced that one day they will come to embrace the truth. Because the truth never changes. And that is what we push on this very platform. The very truth. Absolute and complete. Nodo wrote this letter to the IG of police. That same thing we have been saying since 2012 now they have recognized it they have now seen the light they, they are yet to apologize to us who knows maybe one day they will be magnanimous enough to acknowledge the errors of their ways and apologize to IPOB both those who are dead and those who are living Nodo wrote it is with a, a it is with a heart full of trepidation and responsibility that Johannes Ndibo worldwide brings to your notice a potential explosive situation in Anambra state of Nigeria. The people of Omwa Wolo community in Oka South local government area of Anambra state saw four Fulani boys with six AK-47 rifles slung on their shoulders and riding two motorcycles and drove them to Isiago community, also in Oka South local government area, where they reside. I want the world to please understand what we are saying that Fulani terrorists are openly brandishing assault weapons in Biafra land. I repeat, Fulani terrorists are openly brandishing assault rifles in Biafra land in broad daylight without license. Let me finish this and then we do justice to it. This is Nodo lamenting. If anybody can go to YouTube and find the video clip of my visit to a zoo river. My visit to a zoo river, I recall sometime in 2013 or 14. I cannot be precise. I was there and I filmed Fulani terrorists under the bridge at Amansia brandishing AK-47 assault rifles. The same thing Wodo is now saying was what we reported on in the year 2013-2014. They said we are war mongers, that we are looking for war. We want to fight another Biafra war. Today, after so many years, regrettably, they have now seen what we saw. And this is Wodo now lamenting. The same thing that I have said many times over before audiences all over the world, they are now beginning to recognize. But I will continue to read this very letter. When the news of the brazen wielding of firearms spread across the council area, as law-abiding citizens, the stakeholders there convened a crucial meeting with the police and Fulani leaders in the state and raised the matter for deliberation. The stakeholders, the Fulani leaders, and the men of the Investigation and Intelligence Bureau, SIID in Orca, that they were alarmed and surprised that their boys were flagrantly displaying arms in public, unmindful of the legal implications of unlawful possession of firearms. I repeat, their boys, they were addressing the police, they were addressing the Investigation and Intelligence Bureau in Orca, and also the leaders of the Fulani community. community. They told them, your boys, understand the implication of that. 
very phrase your boys were seen brandishing automatic weapons your boys that means that the police the investigation and intelligence bureau all belong to fulani people that's what they're trying to say that is what word is conveying his letter the stakeholders expressed disappointment that security agencies did not make any attempt to arrest the offending fulani people understand this they were seen with assault rifles but they were not arrested but they went to war and they shot people dead unarmed ipob protest at head bridge on each they killed us unarmed we had no arms with us they went to national high school Abba. they killed us no arms they invaded my compound in our faruku killed 28 people unarmed no arms at all but full any people raping, killing our mothers and our farmers, destroying crops in our farms, and now brandishing AK-47 assault rifles in broad daylight in Anambra State because of the agreement they reached with Willie Obiano. So they rigged him back into office to continue this reign of fallen terrorism the same thing they are doing in Imo state that's how no key and today i'll touch that later on the same thing they have done in anambra was what they did in Imo state plant a caliphate stooge in the government house will you be a no this is happening in anambra state where i call for election boycott was called for it. I knew this was going to happen today. After the police, you have any terrorists carrying and brandishing guns all over the place, assault weapons. These were the same people that I spoke to this same Hanes and Diaran and Yushi. Very foolish men, very foolish. I told them this was going to happen. Let us do something now. They said no. Look at the type of stupid letter Mordo is writing to IG of police. As see the ganja weed IG of police were able to understand what he's talking about. Fallen people are in our land. In Biafra land. In Ijo land, in Igbo land, in Ibibi, in everywhere. Brandishing assault rifles K-47 in broad daylight. The same thing that we have been saying and complaining about for years they called us warmongers they insulted us the generation was unbearable now they have seen the not i am going to read this letter that the world may understand the stupidity and hopelessness of those that call themselves leaders in our land is not interested to ohanez and diara and you should informants the same thing is applicable to pandef or whatever they call themselves because they never learn year after year they never learn fulani killed adakaburu they never learned anything him fulani killed kesar we were they never learned anything those that dr nam daziki were in his foolishness remove their your they were talking rubbish and my own coastal flesh and blood in Biafra land. The same disease has afflicted those that call themselves leaders. Now they are writing a pistol, just like the letter of um, St. Paul to the Ephesians. They are now writing a pistol and letters to IG of police, who is full and from the north, as if he would listen to them. The reason why I am bothering to read the very letter is, is, is very simple. To let the whole world know that those who open their mouths to call us names, miscreants, your fraud, your this, your that, they are the ones who are miscreants today. Their stupidity and their ignorance are finally caught up with them. They can no longer escape it. These are the idiots that fools call leaders. They cannot see. They have no sense of judgment, no sense of timing, no sense of reason. And of course no humility none whatsoever 
took out the nonsense they are writing. We saw Fulani, they are wielding guns. Police should arrest them. Did IPOB carry any guns? You connived with the same Fulani to destroy IPOB. The only people that are saving you. We just allowed them to come into display. We could have stopped them. So that you can see your foolishness and your stupidity. You know, you are now writing a letter to IG of police. I must read this letter. I must finish it. Unbelievable. The stakeholders expressed disappointment that security agencies did not make any attempts to arrest the offending Fulani boys. How can they arrest them? They are part and parcel of the same agenda. To Islamize you. Are you people that foolish that you cannot see? Are you that blind that you cannot see? Are you that daft that you cannot reason very well? Yes, FPHG, SSG, FF, with the whole degrees in the world, cannot reason something so simple that history has a very funny way of repeating itself. That thing the Janja we did in the past, they will try it again. Al Majri will try it over and over and over. They will keep doing it until you're conquered. Any day you realize that you know that this zoo nature you cling on to all the time is a lost cause. It will consume you. How was that people tried the same foolishness that Van Delph and Ohaneze are doing today? That some of those irats, those fools, the selfish Afonja tried it. Because of the behavior of some people today, something is happening. Because you don't know how the caliphate works. But in IPUB we do. That is why we checkmate them. That is why we confront them in a boon, in a nubu. Wherever we see them, we meet them head on. Without support from any of you. We are fighting battles with our bare hands. And some of you are so foolish. You don't even, you can't even acknowledge it. That's how you are even the jurors we used to laugh at as cowards have risen up to do something can your governors do anything of course not. they talk they meet we are going from we are going every blessed day they know ipb is under orders nobody will join them let them call one day and see what will happen to them you're writing love letter to ig A whole Biafra nation. In Africa. By norm. Go to America and ask them. They'll ask them to be successful any group in America. They will tell you who they are. Don't take my word for it. You are writing a letter to an illiterate in Abuja. You claim you are learned. You are writing a letter to a stark illiterate in, in, in police uniform. The stakeholders eh, why can't you arrest the full army boys? Eh, adding that if it were evil boys, they would have been arrested, tortured, and charged to court because you authorize you empowered full army. If full army people are killing evil boys, you are Haneze, you criminals, you know, Haneze, and you say, you empowered them. Look at them having their own. You met in Enugu. From now, we will prescribe all activities of IPOB. The world was laughing at you because you're a bunch of fools. You know nothing. Your brains are empty. These are the. If this is how people with PhD, I mean, uh, imagine what, uh, you know uh, those without how they reason. They claim they have PhD. They are, they are learning with their elite. Elite my food. That is how foolish all of you are. I'm so called governor, your so called leaders, you were elite, you were elite. How foolish they are. You're writing, you look at what to do, the rubbish you're writing. Like a, a, a little boy, this year old. If it were, if it were, if it were able boys, they would have been right. Because you, you are a traitor. You are a traitor. You connive with the enemy. You think they'll, they'll spare you? Go and look at the history of traitors all over the world. 
Let me continue to read this line from an young word to the Janjaweed in Abuja. But rather, I, I keep even asking myself, some of these governors are so-called, what do you gain by sabotaging your own people? History, I keep pointing you, there was a Yoruba man that sabotaged people. The full name is swallowed him alive. His name is Afonja. That is why in a Lauren they don't have an Oba, they have an M. They are answerable to the caliphate. So why you claim you're learned? Didn't you study history to understand that this is the way that funny people operate? You why can't you reason? Some of you idiots. How is that land fell? The same stupidity you sometimes see online for so, so the, the same way that how other people behaved and they were swallowed by the fallen illiterates. And the houses, out of their stupidity, helped the Fulanese to conquer every other people in the north up to Europa land. Have you all forgotten? Adaka Buru tried to them, walk to them, they killed him. Yes, the did the same thing and he was murdered, slaughtered, and acid poured all over his body. He was melted. You do not learn because you are daft. You are a traitor. And you people are traitors. You are traitors. Sell out. So that's where you are. You're writing a letter. Love letter to 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 a G of police. To do what? To, to feel pity for you? To feel sorry for you? You're not man. You don't learn. I'll read the nonsense he wrote. But rather than explain what led to the canning of arms by the boys, or even apologize on behalf of the boys, the funny leaders told the stakeholders to and worked out on them. Are you listening? Fulani came to our land, AK-47, killing and raping our mothers. And they called them, oh, please, uh, please, me arrest them. They are Fulani. You idiots, we are the people that ran to Abaki, yeah, that ran to Brata, say, come, 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 Nam the Kano and, uh, and our boys, they are custom, come and kill them. And they came, they didn't ask any questions, they opened fire. They decided some of them will be hanged in public, I so they will be hanged in public because they are evil. Whereas their own governors in the north, are giving money to their own people, asking them to come to Piafra land to grab land for them. Your own governors are busy living with army and peace to funny people. People, rubbish as usual. You know, useless set of people who cannot reason very well. The full army walked out in an umbra. Walked out. Saying that their boys must bear arms. They told you, Anambra leaders on, I, I, to their face. Full on a boys here with AK 47, you won't do anything. Ordinary rally. Uh, uh, IPOB cannot hold any rally. IPOB is banned in the same stupid old IPOB is banned. They cannot meet in Anambra. They are funny people are carrying AK in broad daylight. And the funniest thing, they, what I find very, very perverse. If the people still uh, is their turn. That is how sometimes I, I, I can't I fail to understand these people. I fail to understand them. Your own people who fight for and is not IPOB. You say wherever you have killed they don't I just want to understand this level of stupidity in, in some black people. Wherever you see IPOB gathered, kill them, according to Obiano, and some of his people. But Fulani came into Hanambara, killing people, raping our own, re abomination against the land. They told them, please, uh, please, we saw four Fulani people who were riding on motorbike with AK 47. Uh, please, now, can, can you go? And, uh, see what you can do. And the foreign leader said, to him, 
do your worst go down. Those are the reasons. Oh, IPOB, they are miscreants, they are causing trouble. These are people fathered by a full hand before, during, and after the war. That is why there must be compulsory DNA for everybody that applies to different citizenship. We want to know where our problem is coming from. Some of the people you see defending one Nigeria, they were fathered by full and people during, before, before the pogrom. You know, they corner women and they rape them, they gave birth to rubbish. Some bearing different names. It if you think they are normal, they are. Not you and a part of the family, you are fed by vandals on the side. Come by due to hunger by uh, some well women during the war. We know them, they gave birth to rubbish. You see me answering up with fed by vandals from the north. Unbelievable. I will continue to read more of those useless letter to IG. A letter. Tell me why you have IOB. Is it not because of all these reasons you are planning here? When I met these idiots in Enugu, did I not explain to you that this was going to happen? I told you that this was going to happen. After betraying IPOB, you are writing. Instead of using I can be to send clear message to the you're the to writing letter. Are they educated? Or that's an idiot that cannot read the speech of police. Who's going to read it? You're writing a letter. Shameless people. Rather than explain what led to the carrying of arms by the boys i even apologize the little flanny leaders told an umbrella leaders go to hell we are here with our arms you can't do anything they said they're bearing arms to protect themselves but rather i will see this i your police cannot see it any day you hear us any day ipop is violent they're armed they are planning to be armed but the clear flanny boys armed you know what they had, they said? <laughs> Let me read to you what Wood actually wrote. I love this letter so much because it reminds me of the stupidity of these people. The elite. This is the elite. The elite. We are the elite. Look at the how foolish they are. You're writing love letter. This in the presence of law enforcement agents and nothing was actually done to arrest either the Fulani boys or their leaders for overtly declaring war on the people of Anambra state. Ah, Fulani is now declaring war openly on Anambra people, on their friends, in the open. Britain will not see it. Bratai will not see it. IG of police will not see it. Abba Fieri will not see it. Garba Shehu will not see it. Europe these papers will not see this they can they, are, they cannot see it they are not they are blind they cannot see it Fulani declaring war in a number all i asked for was arms to defend ourselves again i knew they were coming i told those a fool for people some of them in america we need guns do you look at it it's happening you know they've declared war now do something let us see guns they never gave me I went back home to organize our people. I was arrested. I was released. I was uh, traveling peacefully, rallying our people to stand against this onslaught by the jihadists. The same world and the governors put a meeting together, conspired to kill. Now the Fulani have to kill people. Because I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't even know about this. Because I never gave the orders to chase those boys and apprehend them. They are now crying and writing letters because they are too ashamed to say to IP, we are sorry, we messed up. Come and save us. You can see it now happening. Uh, definitely they understand how upset we are. That is why they are moving their boys into our 
I will continue to read more of those letters. It's very, very important. I must read it. The inspector of police, sir, he is stolen, sir, out of cowardice and fear. These are these are traitors and cowards. They are not only traitors and traitors, they are cowards. The inspector general of police, sir, on SND, who is alarmed by this wanton act because of the danger it portends, this raises the following questions. Let me uh, speak English <laughs> to Janja Weed. That doesn't understand the English language. They say Boko Haram, Western education is dangerous. The same policy of uh, Marbello. So you're writing. Let us read the uh, it is rubbish to, to Inspector General of Police. Is the bearing of consent firearms, especially sophisticated ones like AK 47, no longer illegal and therefore punishable in breach of the laws of this country? Grammar. But two, do we now have different? us for different ethnic groups in Nigeria. If it were we to be members of IBOB or any other group other than Fulani that bear such illegal arms, what will, what fate will befall them? The same IPOB you betrayed. When in your house, when would I told you that this was going to happen? Did you believe? I will come. As I'm telling everybody to they will come. As it follows, they they will come. If you don't support IPOB, they will come to your village, they will kill you up. And some are led by Fulani, bastards born by Fulani, will come and be writing English, answering you, fine. You're writing crap. Whilst your people are busy moving from village to village and killing our people. BBC would not report it, CNN would not report it, Yoruba Papers would not report it because um, if they report it, the world will know that we are seeing. and uh, perhaps the oil dollar they are getting, the gas, natural gas, they are getting, you know, proceeds from natural gas, they won't get it anymore. That's all. Why do you think they are quiet? They think they are quiet because they want peace. They are quiet because they want to be killed off. So in your next life, you will not be stupid. When you see movements like IPOB, you go and join. Because only IPOB can give you. It doesn't uh, forget your stupid, useless grammar for all the noise you make. Only IPOB can give you, and you know it, and the full and they know it as well. 20th of June in the USA, you will see the might of IPOB. You see how big we are. 20th of June. Will bring Washington DC to a standstill. I hear you know now when I fought on all mad people everywhere. Now, it's different laws. You are the ones that went and conspired as the trust you are. They kill us in a key. It's the court boys fighting. Who told you? Who told you that? Wish Fulani are busy killing us in a key. He says it's a court. What rubbish is that? Who puts on them man? That they brought. Who puts on them man? They brought him in from elsewhere to make him governor. Hey, I'll give you what. I'll give you what. Uh, the, uh, so Imo people in the north they give uh, full and give them light and water for free. Hey, people don't even know the mess we are in. Of you don't even know the mess you're in. I don't to understand why wave after wave of slips came to West Africa and we are packing us like this. Wave after wave. This level of docility and the ineptitude I've never seen it in life before. The way we are behaving now, this generation, that was why the white man, uh, with the help of the Pope, quite rightly, of course, it was the Pope that gave the go and pick them in west africa they're useless they came to west africa and they packed us in ship after ship after ship because we are useless the same of you now you see danger in front of you you see a full and a danger of you people and you're busy praying for one night i cannot understand the brain these people have i can't i can't understand it I can't understand it. I will never understand it. I keep saying, God, have you done this to me? They say that, 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 that this people won't frustrate me so that I will speak against spirit. 
So I will see Biafra. I will not go against the spirit. But I must say to God, I uh, these people that you created me and them, I'm not, I'm not quite sure you meant it for me to be amongst them. I cannot be among them. In the acting letter to IG of police. But I, uh, please, uh, your people are wielding AK-47. When you betraying IPOB, didn't you know that? There is called comeuppance. That is what they are witnessing, all of them. You see all these governors that betray us. Their families will suffer. Write it down on a piece of paper. Their families will suffer. Write it down. They will suffer. If anybody said to you, that we will later on be writing a letter that will contain all the grievances of IPOB as we've enunciated them from time. Will you believe me? It's here. Everything he's saying here is what we have been saying. They ask us, why are you agitating? This is the reason why we have been agitating. All you have is paper. Do you have no common sense? If you had common sense, you would have seen this long time ago. Because the impetuous action and plans of the Fulani leaders, not a clear and definitive, definitive invitation to work. He's speaking grammar. To do the English language. Everybody in the country to protect himself will the security agencies be able to condemn him that they are telling you already you are busy speaking grammar. Grammar stop reading this rubbish. Honestly, I'm tired of this nonsense. He's writing English language to them. If everybody carries arms, so now you know. That thing I was thinking of from time. Now you realize your stupidity, your mistake, your, 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 your. Oh my God. These people. Oh. Lord have mercy. Signed John 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 on the Chief John President General of Hanazendi Worldwide. Have you come across anything as stupid as this before? During the time of Mbakwe, do you think Mbakwe would have rubbish left to anybody? No. During the time of men in our land, would they write this stupid letter to an Allah al-Majri? He's talking about peaceful coexistence. Friends and brothers. AK. How can you call them your friends when they are carrying AK-47? I just want to ask. I think the next time he appears in public, he should be stoned, honestly speaking. These are the idiots bringing these many people to our land. Because, why do you insult them? Because of them, our mothers are being raped. Half of a boy is in turmoil. If not for IPOB. Don't you know that we are the ones at the front line? Do you know how they kill our mothers every day in the farms? You are aware because you are busy reading jokes online and laughing at your own stupidity and ignorance. As they are being in Anambra, some of you may not know this. As they are being and I'm pillaging and sacking and destroying homes in Ambra for people in the state. Look carefully. This is what kind of stuff you will have. The state, the political no crisis. Eurobars will make me upset with them as listen. If you know that people are controlling the media, it's not the right truth. There are no communal crises in Europe. What you have are full of people trying the to take over our land, and we are saying no to it. Do you know what's happened? Literally, government has ordered security operatives to shoot at sight. <laughs> Let us for one second accept that two minutes are going instead. You ask police to go there and touch. Who are the police? <laughs> Listen carefully. They are full of the people. Who are the army? You're asking to shoot us. Full of the people. So they will go to the villages and they will massacre our own people. 
There are people that will not arrest Fulani terrorists. No, never. You now want to go to our villages and start taking people from a governor. Not even places ravaged by Boko Haram, Fulani Boko Haram, Fulani terror headsmen, Fulani ISIS in West Africa province, Iswap, Fulani and Saru and full on the bandits no governor in the north has ever said go and shoot at sight in a place where i was where we are under attack point we are the full are attacking us inside the police state the governor will be saying that the army of go and shoot at sight anybody they see now let me ask you a question if they fail to arrest full on the wielding a k-7 in an umbra do you actually think that a full army policeman or soldier will shoot a fellow full army Enable you. Who are they going to shoot? Ask yourself that simple question. Who are they going to shoot? You see, that is why I said that some of these politicians never learn anything. In their quest to please Fulani masters, they are destroying. They are destroying our children. They are destroying our hope because they want to please their Fulani masters. This is a newspaper report. Dave Woma, he asking the. He, in fact, he asked. He, he said he is doing what addressing the state security chiefs, the police headed by a Fulani man, army of course Fulani, DSS of Fulani, immigration of Fulani, prisons of Fulani, civil defense of Fulani, FROS, which is federal safety Fulani. The only people who are there who are their friends are. Government areas, and you know what he said to the Fulani people go into my villages and my communities and shoot at sight. And one of the people said, These people are in agreement to deplete our population, they want to reduce our population. That is something that these girls don't understand. That is something now if I occur in Delta is going to realize this. Don't understand the, uh, the, the game plan of the land is reduce their numbers. The same rubbish they have brought to local vigilante. We are told uh, before I came on, I was told reliably informed. There are some autonomous community president generals have gathered themselves together to recruit 50 men to act as informants for the Fulani Caliphate. I know that this very broadcast is received all over the Afro land. We need to set example with one or two so-called president general. Any community we get intel, intelligence that are in vigilante for federal government of Nigeria, we will set an example with that PG, that other statement. Nobody, nobody, anybody that signs up to any vigilante, any federal vigilante, in this zoo, we know that your family are traitors and saboteurs, like in your wood. You want to sign up to federal vigilante, so you turn into an informant. They give you five thousand into you turn into an informant, informing on those who are fighting to protect your lives. We will not have that rubbish in our land, never across the whole of Biafra land. You know, they have this. Uh, you know they have this way of uh, is is they are fighting for i'm not fighting for any nation i am fighting for biafra the entire biafra land what they wish to do once we are free is a dialogue to them do they wish to go and uh, uh, some pigs are doing uh, bowing to uh, uh, the so-called gambari in the north janja weed that's entirely their business we must be free as one people this uh, south, south, south is the rubbish. The world is what is what so shall the east be. The governor gave the in a 13 point communication sent by the secretary to the state government, Obama, in order to a new super in a back league. Shoot at sight in your own state. Ask. Boko Haram is ravaging the north. Which governor ever came to go to communities and start killing people? are the people you call uh, your list writing letter to IG who we are under siege of the 
shooting at sight. Are you sure there is not something wrong with these people? With their brain? The time now is the top of the hour. It's just a minute past 8 p.m. And of Biafra. We are live and direct and this is Radio Biafra. Here we preach the truth. Some may not like it, but it is the truth. Eventually, they come to agree with us what we are saying is correct. Friendly. They start to write love letter. They start to write a letter to IG of, of police. Very, very sad indeed. Extremely sad indeed. Extremely sad indeed. Oh, okay. we see this is how bad things have become in our land. This is how invaded by killings. The governors they are lamenting. If you want us to, uh, this country should be in one Nigeria. But they are killing you. You're talking. You find your car in Delta State, in Anambra State that is nearby. If I see what plan is done, they say we should do anything you like. You can do. We will carry our guns here. What does that mean? We are a people under oppression, siege, roads and checkpoints everywhere. But you have people. Oh, we are we, we, we the elite. They should consult us. We, we are the elite. He consult us. You are in Abuja and in Lagos talking rubbish. Your land is being taken away from you. In a point, it is how sad it has been. The governor is saying instead of going after the full and people that have come to kill us, the governor is. I mean, go please go to villages. It aside, how to most state? How to this is gone? Imo assembly summons commission of police. The same thing I told that they will do. Then circulars they will come. They are counting your stupidity. They know that you are so. You, you cannot see that it's only a that can save you. They know that they, the British advice. Give them money, attack IPOB, attack them, attack them because our people are so vertical. They want to be seen as uh, friendly to, uh, to the cosmopolitan, the tribalized. They live in Lagos and Abuja talking jack, talking rubbish. No, every blessed day they talk rubbish. Every day their land is being put up. Them, is it any good? Do you want us to discuss any good state? Look at Anambra. Look at Delta. All the frontline states slaughter upon slaughter to put in us. Because they know that an average, <laughs> I wouldn't call them Biafran, mm, average Eastern has a very debilitating disease. There are three diseases envy, greed, and jealousy. If envy doesn't get them, greed will get them. They trust, you see, they have They know. In a classic, you have these three things. All they need is to keep pressing, to want them, to activate what vibes in them. They are wrong. You have to help you be. So even when killing people in the nation, Nigeria, Nigeria, let's pray The speaker of the Simu State, Summoned the state um, police commission over the instances things going on in Okiwe. And what is very peculiar about Okiwe is that that is where you have a fallen settlement. You see, fallen settlement given to them by Oji Zakal. They didn't remember that. They put him in jail, not minding. Do you see how foolish we are? Can people now begin to appreciate how foolish we truly are as a people? I just can't give them land in Loba to settle, to show that he loves Fulani. And they took the land from him, as they did to Afonja in Elorin, took the land from him, killed his people, still killing his people till today, and they put in prison. When will we learn? Which year? When are we going to learn? When are we ever going to learn to reason? That these people don't love you and can never love you is impossible. The speaker of Vim was asked about cheap guns. <laughs> they have a plenary session. They are discussing the things in our 
uh, another grammar. We are asked uh, the police and other agencies are charged with the responsibility of protecting large populations of Nigerian citizens or keep the people inclusive. Keep calling yourself a Nigerian and they keep killing you. Continue. They keep killing you. We are asked this motion. We are asked this. We are asked another agency. Who are the police? And who are the other law enforcement agencies? They are all full of ginger with parliamentarizations designed to conquer you. Anytime you call them, you are wasting your time. You will be killed in the process. You have 70 million people, some in the diaspora, a sizable, or should I say, significant. We can't number them in Biafra land together to reason something through is difficult. The Fulani man came from the north. They planted a Wabi Aseka for those who do not know. Because they tried the Wabi Aseka experiment by placing a saboteur at the head of government, they succeeded. That was why they, they went to Ebu and cut it to. They said they half is on Niger Delta. The same family, the same brothers and sisters, they are now defending the, the political zones. And some of you are clapping. You see why I never restrict the agitation for Biafra to an Iwe affair? I will never do it. What happens to those people who are in rivers? What happened to Obi Ibo? The only place that has Obi Ibo across the entire Biafra land. What happens to them? You allow a full life from God knows where that settled in Gobe today. They call it Goto. You come to your land and tell you and divide a family into two, and you accept that rubbish. South, South security zone, South security people are that to the core. You are fully the core. I'm a friend to Lawal, I'm a friend to Mustafa. I have any friends. I look at this more on you divide south south you divide the west is one north is one you are the only idiots despite what they did to adaka Boro, despite the humiliation of aziki despite the way they killed uh uh, uh Kadibo, all of you never learn anything tomorrow we are the elite i went to university i have 10 degrees i am elite see how foolish you are Can what happen if the entire Eastern governors we had to come together to say we form one security outfit. The zoo will tremble. Finally, we would draw their forces from our land tonight. But keep doing your we are South South Security, which you will never do. You will never float one. South East Security, they can never float one. Because full and will cleverly give you your governors. Your politicians, they select them. You go through the motion of electing somebody, of course, nothing happens. They go to decide who should stay there. The so, Supreme Court decision is final. Unbelievable. They are, they are having more than writing letter in the group. He must say is having it. An umbrella is begging them to so please ask your boys now. Or call wise lament in the Or you shoot everybody aside. Apart from the family who are doing, actually doing killing. And you're telling me that we are living in normal times? Of course we are not. Of course we are not. And that is why IPOB, that was why God in heaven decided that IPOB must come. You know, God never give you, Chuko Kikabiyama can never give you a problem without a solution. Before this thing started happening, God gave you IPOB. He said, I'm sending IPOB to warn you what is to come. Nam the can will tell you storm before it happens. And that was what we did. And they betrayed us. Some people today writing love letter to IG. The same people today lamented they're killing us. The same people. I remember the governor of um Delta, somebody saying, Oh come uh, 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 no, 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 to Delta State to rally in 2017. Is crying uh, full and they are in our forest, <laughs> they are killing us. So, <laughs> oh dear, but we told you so, didn't we? We told you so. Our enemies never prevail. 
because I will be in Washington on the 20th of June leading the match of the million men and women and children. The whole of Washington DC vibrates that very day. People are coming from all over the world, all over the world to converge on DC. I have seen some of them writing. To me today, that Nam the Khan is trying to bring people together so that uh, somebody can release coronavirus <laughs> in America. Oh dear, I love, I love to think this quite hilarious. Honestly, I love it. Going to March on the 20th of June, America will shake that very day. We'll tell them the history of the USA. How people from Biafra land built USA with free labor for 200 years and counting. I will be there to lead that very much. I will be in the USA to lead that very much. That the world may know. And it is of the activities of IPOB all over the world that today some people are talking about presidency. We must see them. But before we get that, something is distressing. I, I just, something warned me about Okiwe very seriously. What is happening? And I wish that all Jews or Carlo, President Kujia, will understand the state of mind. That give land, free land. We go to the North Island, we build our businesses out of our sheer sweat and blood. They come to our land, give them land free. You know, in Oba, in the same thing that those are the most what we are doing. The same thing that um, some of you don't know that we are not giving for the people. You know that this is what is happening in our land, in our own land. When we go to the north, we struggle. We buy land from the northern and build businesses. One day they will decide to kill. Us on the bunny dance, say, claiming blasphemy against Muhammad. They come to our land, we give them our land for free. They kill us. They claim it called wars. There is nothing like wars. The same nonsensical categorization of funny terrorism as banditry. They convinced the European media. Instead of European media, they said they are bandits. They are from Niger. They are from Chad. They are from Libya. They are from Egypt. They are from Algeria. They are from Morocco. Yeah, no, I can't, can you believe such rubbish? Overnight. What is happening across Biafra land, especially the frontline states in Igbo land, with the capitulation of the governors and of Hanes and Dioshi, is that full of terrorists who were one of their agents the Nigerian police have embarked upon recruitment of federal vigilante and went tonight. Nobody should submit to any vigilante uh, federal whatever rubbish they call it on that community policing. What's to be community policing? They want to use the Trojan horse to enter into our land to delimit us from within. They will have an already made brigade of informants. If Mudo and governors can be informants to follow any caliphate, imagine what a wretched uh, poor papa in the village would do for 5,000 naira in a month. Instead of them to go and form their own amoteku, they are busy claiming to form VH vigilante for the of Nigeria. The same people killing you, the same people that every fight gave money to. Governor of uh, Cardinal State to kill his so called fellow Nigerians. When when what is happening is that able bodied men are being lured through corrupt president generals of various autonomous. I'm warning you, I'm sounding warning tonight. You know, uh, maybe in the next year, you start writing your own love letter to to Commissioner of Police. What is writing to IG? You will write the commission of police. They are recruiting informants for the full jihadists. That's what they're doing. 
any place the general in our land found working for Fulani Islamization conquest of our land will be dealt with. Try and see. The imposition of hope to Zodema in Indo State has emboldened the vandals from the Sahel, the primitive caliphate, to move boldly into our villages in the hope of finding many more willing traitors like Opu Zodema, Nyawod, and the rest of them. What is happening in Okigwe is not him. The well is I don't want to speak too much, Graham, but I'll call it territorial nationalism of the caliphate the same land orders of Kali gave to them they are now expanding in Lopa, they are expanding killing people telling it is it is called one said oh I, I saw them give a sign of black ass i said are you foolish are you that stupid they are doing it to deflect attention away from the real culprits they did the same thing they watch her, they go to a village, they might, uh, it, it's cultism. People are uh, in cults, they are fighting. Rubbish. Those are the influence that the Fulani Caliphate are using to cause me him in a society. Some of you don't know this, but we do. Before I came in, I instructed our volunteer command, the volunteer command of IPOB, to ensure terrorists are confronted and dealt with in and around our key by next two weeks you will hear the story <laughs> watch this space i have given the commands night any form any person seen in and around our people with cattle or anything will pay there for it try us and see if you like go to your places and use your army around our key and police you create with one checkpoints they know how it's between us and them because we operate where people cannot see. We don't want to have men's life. But no, in a okay, follow will be able to it with 14 days. You will hear the story. But you will hear it from other quarters. Then they'll have serious yeah. Mad people everywhere. Mad, mad people everywhere. Common, common stability they cannot form in the southeast. Common security, the 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 so called the government met in local jail, and they talked about forming a security outfit. Oh, they met in 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 Ogoja. Oh, they they met in 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 Yenagua. They talk, always meeting and talking, meeting and talking. Form that group, they will not. What they are looking for are fools like themselves that will serve the Fulani Caliphate. That's what they are looking for. Idiots like. We rise up to serve the Fulani Caliphate. That is all they are looking for. That is all they want. And we have said to them, if you like you try us, but in the south so, and south, south as they continue to demarcate themselves, self foolishness and ignorance. Them call that meeting and nobody will attend it. People are home, yes. But we want to tell them that Biara is one. The IOB is one. We would not participate in any of their nonsense until they are serious. Until they are serious. And it's one safety outfit for the entire East. No side of security or South is rubbish. It will never work. Only one for the entire East. Yeah, uh, Flanny will come and we they went and for one security outfit for the North. One. They come. Uh, so you have to be separate. Make separate. South, South, and Southeast. Because divide you are weakened. Divided you fall. They will defy you. They will. Even people, I find myself agreeing with people that I never dreamt in my life. I would actually agree with. This one is from somebody they call him Dr. Casey Obonia. He said that the reason governors of the Southeast zone have been unstable on establishing regional security in the form of uh, Amotekun was that governors were extremely selfish. Not me saying it. Our people under siege. We are that day. The duty of governor is to defend his own people. Now ask yourself, why is it that your governor cannot do it? Why can't Mwodo write to the governors and say, why haven't you done this? Why 
can't do clock of panda right and say why haven't you all to get to do this they can't do it you see because all the godfather i put them there once you come out and say anything about regional security your godfather will from from Daura or maybe from Katsina or maybe from Bernie Kebi or maybe from 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 Funtu or Buzo and say hey what are you doing there? What, what nonsense are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry sir, rank a dede, rank a dede. And you come and tell you that we are strategizing while they are killing more people. Yes, yes, he was the former APC person. He was uh, aspiring to be president. He is the one, right? If somebody from AC, can, can you imagine? Somebody who is serving Fulani can pay that there is a security need to have something like Kamoteku in Biafra land. Then that tells you all you need to know about the governors. It tells you all you need to know. If somebody who serves is complaining, that there is this in Biafra land and is actually admonishing the governors for not setting up a similar the same thing that we set up BSS. Remember? They said no. If somebody from if people from APC now complain, <laughs> then we are in a very just I tell you that. But we thank God for IPOB. We thank God for the work that he is using IPOB to do. Everybody will not fall. They will kill many people, of course, that's true. Can never ever fall. Can never ever fall. I return to a one million man match from now. Those need visa apply out two months ahead. Everybody who is a naturalized citizen, a Biafran in Europe, I expect to see you in the USA. If you buy your tickets on time, it will be a lot cheaper. DOS will be there. The the government come all across America. The call, the Episcopal, the Baptist, just name it. But those who are born and those who are not born again, everybody's coming. White, blue, black, pink, yellow, everybody's coming. Once you are affected by the killings in the zoo, in the British colonial experiment, the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, you are welcome to attend this rally because the whole world will hear your cry that very day. So that when we do what we do, nobody can blame us. Some people say, oh, but you, you keep talking every day. Yeah, because you're foolish, you don't understand anything. If we don't do what we are doing, the world will say they never knew about it. They watched into war. You rushed into violence and confrontation. We are the evidence for the world. So they march. Nobody will blame you. We know what we are doing. After all, we knew about this problem until eight years ago before now. So we know what we are doing. We know what we are doing. And because of this very work that we are doing, the whole of the zoo is vibrating. Even though Talking for Nigeria to continue now, they are saying that even go on, the archer himself is saying that the Igbos are marginalized. When he says the Igbos are marginalized, you will think that life is a, is, a, is beautiful in your land, you think that life is so rosy in your land, you think that a people have been a part. It's a lie. We are all we are fast. We are all marginalized. We are all suffering. It's a shame that some people from the coast to run out of hunger and desperation accepted to work for the family by becoming a blind city guard. Very sad indeed. Very, very sad. No, no, and no dignity. Very sad. Go on is now saying it. He's now calling for restructuring because they are on that pressure. IPOP is putting more pressure. They know it. You know, they thought before that we cannot go to places where they go to, to go and lobby. But uh, Chukwokikabiam has been kind. God in heaven has been kind to us. 
and we are able to match them every step of the way. Why how can you pay consultants hundreds of thousands of dollars to lobby for them? They, they are shocked. Oshibanjo was shocked. When he was told the firm we are using in DC, he was shocked. He ran to them and offered them money. POB. And they said no. Ask them, so okay, they're so called residents. They will tell you the truth. That we are hitting them below the belt. The damage we are doing to the zoo, you cannot see. Because some of you are blind, but if you read in the lines, you'll be able to understand. We are on a path that leads to the pollution of the zoo. Nigeria can never survive. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how many times you pray. Nigeria can never ever survive. It is going down. It is going down. Never will it. How can it survive? How can a zoo survive? How is that possible? A damnable zoological problem. Can it survive? It is impossible. Never survive. Don't say. Have I come? Am I doing what I'm doing to be liked? Liked by who? If I am who to like me to be a monkey in Africa with very little education, great of a education system that goes on strike for nearly ten years. What what stupid drugs? I want to be liked by. I don't need stupid likeness. I want you to reason. If you go back to sleep tonight and you reason I have told you to reason through, then you thank me tomorrow morning. I have no time for sentiment, for bias. It is not my fault that some of you were educated in a zoo where the school system doesn't choose where you can read or write properly but indeed thought we are joking when we started the days is a joke now they know how serious we are all of a sudden Jacob one is talking about evil marginalization and presidency let me repeat tonight that will be the bone i we i want to warn every from politician calling for presidency 2023 you are wasting your time i am saying it on time so that you understand you are wasting your time what we are going for is for biafra you cannot betray biafra and then come and tell us to vote for you you're wasting your time since you want to have uh Send them. That's what you want. Then we keep serving them now. Presidency, you are dreaming, dreaming. Anyway, they know where the power lies in their land. It doesn't matter how many more irats you recruit. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on propaganda, hiring um, social media influencing um, um, agencies in Russia and the Middle East. It doesn't matter. We are IP. We under oath under sacred oath that is the difference it doesn't matter the crap you write how many fake accounts you have how much attack ipob how much you attack and you are wasting you know me does oh my goodness it does, does it bother us of course not we keep grinding the zoo to dust really we are muslims we keep grinding the zoo to the ground on this is a firm promise so it doesn't matter all the fools in Lagos and in Abuja talking rubbish. You've not been to the village to see the friends are doing to you in your village. Lagos and Abuja talking nonsense. Talking crap. All of a sudden, you know, the president. Yeah. He gave them presidency. Do you know that IPOB is. We have succeeded. You know that very well. Oh, give them presidency so they can come and be one. Take your presidency and go to hell with it. You don't need it. Until we are fighting for presidency of this to be in a country with natural born illiterates moving cattle from place to place like a bunch of men just to disappoint with them. Obama was a black president in America.
America already gained after eight years. Nothing. Are they still not hunting black people down in the US and like a bunch of wild beasts? That is it. That is the end of all your problems. All of this Europe and America. Deliver the problem. Your view is the rest of Canada, but you prefer to go to Canada. Swim to Canada. Drown to Canada. What matters is the policies. Not where the person comes from. Simple common sense, for goodness sake. They have now discovered that Bia is possible. They are now offering presidential economy. This week they spread to Europe. Next week they spread to, to, to the East. Never will be a full effort that will pick it up. Let that idiot come out and emerge and say, I am the I am the presidential candidate of this party. And I'm evil, or maybe I'm from any part of Biafra land, then you see what we'll do to you. So we'll do to you. Go and contest now, you see what will happen to you. They are talking about restructuring. So that can somebody wrote very cleverly today. Go on, you're talking about restructuring. What did you discuss with your Jupiter in Abu? Was not restructuring. It's not of you to open your mouth and say, uh, I think it is time we go back to Aburi. Let's revisit Aburi. You're talking about presidency. Lie as old as you are. Go on. You are lying self. Your old mother self, as old as you are. You are lying to yourself. So, what was you negotiating with you in Aburi? Was that not a string? Was that restraining? I'm asking you. You know it's restructuring. You are deceiving yourself. Deceiving yourself. And in Benue, those they say that evil man is the problem, is the man that is the problem. I can't stand how people reason. Flanny will be killed, you, taking your land, taking every position, taking a pursuing you from NDDC, uselessing your lives. That man will tell you, table man is your problem, and you jump up and you agree. All those that say table man is the at how they are being used. Ed useless. That's it. Useless with D at the end. Ed made a fool of. Let me introduce you. You understand what is happening in the zoo? God, me. Oh, we, we are. Been, we are not part of. We are middle belt. We are not part of Biafra. This is your Biafra thing. <laughs> it happened in Benue as well, as well as Delta. Suspected armed Fulani headsmen in the early hours of Thursday attack. As you saying. The Mbanya community government celebrated and raped the wife of the acting minister of Mbawa, Chief Oliver Chado, and his two in laws. They raped two men, two of the three, two in laws, and the wife of the traditional ruler. These are the people that said an evil man is their problem. But the person who an evil man is their problem is funny. And today, that Fulani is raping the wife by the two girls. If I'm close, I'll ask him to clap for self. Do you see how they are? You know, when this program is taught, you know what this book does they need to remove people. Because they know that we are preaching the gospel of heaven. They begin to panic. They begin to remove people. From Radio Biafra page and from my page, Mazen Nam the Kano, the authentic one, of course, they have about nearly 56 fake ones that uh, Asa Rock is sponsoring. Loretta uh, Onochie, uh, uh, sex trafficker of women. Now, uh, uh, they say she has an office in the presidency of the zoo. And what they're doing? Removing listeners. I didn't want to stop. You are more other platforms we are on tuning. We have our we are live in Biafra land on FM speaking the very gospel of truth. But heaven man did not speak. You can't stop me from speaking the truth. I they gave me bail. I came out. They said we don't, don't meet me and tempt people, don't speak, don't talk, don't do anything. I tell them they are wasting their time. I did what God asked me to do. And I would do it today. To speak the truth. Even if it leads to my death, I will speak the truth. Every time 
everywhere, whatever I find myself in. The truth is that the friend that told you that the woman is your problem is today raping your wife and your two in-laws in Benue. The only solution is Biafra. Biafra is the only thing that, that can everybody in the zoo. You think that Britain, of course, some having fun laughing at uh, those idiots that they created. I have asked you before to go and go. Who created Nigeria? Also, Google who created and the answers you find will shock you. That way, that nobody should create a only God create a nation. through the fusion of common values, systems, culture, tradition, or conquest. Only those two, only those two ways. No other way. Not you, 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 you. From today, you are nice. I'm a Nigerian. I'm from Nigeria. I'm out of Nigeria. The people are coming in from Chad without papers. They are coming to the north. They are Lomajiri. They collect the same Nigerian citizenship. You can have. That is why only a fool can fight for Nigeria. Only if you're an idiot will you fight for the US for Nigeria. My fool. They are raping them in Benue. These are the people that said the woman is their problem. Full army terrorists are raping them. Them friend that told you the problem. They don't want to dominate you. They are the ones raping you, killing you, taking your land every blessed day, and telling you Nigeria will be better tomorrow. Borrowing money from China every blessed day. Full army have run money into the soil. They keep borrowing. Every blessed day they borrow is full of economy. Nothing. They move from village to village, move cattle from one place to the other, and you entrust them the president. How full of you are in the zoo. I preach the truth to you. You may not like it, but it is the truth. On reflection, you will understand. You will understand. Every day they plan South South governors and region. Every day they plan regional outfit. IPOB is everywhere in Biafra land. Every in, in a, a, a IPOB is there. Who are who are the people who are going to fight the full and is not IPOB? The regional security is not the same IPOB. We are in every village, in every hamlet, in every household. There is IPOB. Our command is one central, one command, one order, and millions obey. I said millions all over the world they obey it. One order only. One command. Let them go. Try. When we are ready to unveil our security outfit, I unveil it. You, you see how the zoo will vibrate. I'll show you. You know we do things in grand style. The day we unveil our security outfit, that we dare and fight to the bitter end. The world will hear about it. To defend our land, we of course. We, you think we're not doing anything? Yeah. And there is, you know, some people are that you know idle minds. You know the devil with them very soon we shall release the video of all things we've been in the in Enugu we'll show you what we've been doing how we've been resisting Fulani incursion we've been slaughtering that. they know this very well you know, we, we kill we kill their cat they know it very well we have the videos to prove it very soon we shall release it that the world may know we are quiet of course we are we are non-violent we believe in self and so we are doing boy. and in other areas as well. If a man is a problem, man is your problem. They keep replacing them every blessed day. They tell the woman is their problem in uh, in uh, in uh, NDDC, CCDC, FFC, uh, Niger Delta this, up Delta that, lower Delta that, rubbish. They replaced him with Bashir. Peter Sa has been kicked out, and another Alamadi from the north has taken over. We're not talking about marginalization. We are being dominated. I have never seen such stupid set of people in my life before. Look at it. Bashir has been tried as the director general of the Nigerian Maritime. Somebody comes from the desert and is in charge of marriage. He cannot swim. I've never heard of such rubbish before. Somebody is from the desert and emerged from his head. They made him maritime. And safety in, in, in the Atlantic Ocean. He has not the Atlantic people. 
as al majri all the sins in the north they are now bringing him to atlantic ocean if you throw him inside the water he will drown like a stone nobody is shouting marginalization all the idiots that kept saying Yibo man is dominating us they want to dominate us is our oil and all that rubbish where, where, where are you now can you speak I tell the truth can you talk and you're being replaced these people that are killed at Aboro, you can no longer speak they do you cannot talk they take everything from you you cannot speak the same people will tell you but man is a problem and you agree Solidity at its finest. Ah, we must continue to lecture and to educate. This is Radio Africa live and direct. The world is bearing us witness. Today is the day of March. In the year of our most high Elohim 2020, the truth is what preach. Yoruba people working for Facebook are busy removing people from groups, talking them not to hear this gospel. Did you also say for God? We are on our app, Radio Biafra app. We are on tuning. We are on radio. We are on FM in Biafra land. We are on satellite. If you have, if you are on satellite, you know this. They are busy writing themselves on Facebook. As if before we started broadcasting on Facebook, we were not broadcasting all over the world. Of course we were. Is they have collected money from Asorok. Some of them are Yoruba Muslim. The very worst of the, the worst people you have is your problem like SLR Akitola betrayers of, of our world the very worst the worst of the worst you Muslim very very deadly very deadly this is a people that cannot lead Juma no you must go to a mosque in the Sharia states of the north and lead a prayer no matter how high you are in Islam but, you know I was telling some people that um, during my last broadcast, to all of you, my two last broadcasts, of you that uh, Igbo language is the oldest and the most language in the world. It's the language of heaven. Couldn't believe me. Do you know what they call Ada in Israel? Ada in Israel. What is called? In Jewish, in Hebrew, so to speak, and there are other people in Africa that has that is an assignment that calls their senior sister Dada D A D A, as I used to call my mom, and I will always affectionately remember her. But anyway, Dada, do you know that there are other very strong African countries that their local dialect your sister is called Dada D A D A. Tell the language of the Asians, very old people, the Ibuza. and we all are Igbos, all of us. If you're from Biafra land, you're Igbo. If you're from Biafra land, you're from Anambra state. Everybody is from Anambra. Everybody from there, we migrated to the different places where we inhabit today. Could understand. We wear what is called the Kwebrugu, which is Umni, we call it. We used to wear, you know, the red and black one we weave with the wool. The same thing that Babio used to wear. The same thing that Udo Mamano wears. The same thing that Igbo people wear. You don't have a, a society. is a call. I mean, call not in a bad way, but called in a good way. It's a society. In our Chukwu, in our half year, the same way you have in a week, you have in a calabar, you have the same way you have in a diagram. The same way. They abandoned all these things on all these if they ran all the way to I like Bini Kingdom, I've never hidden my tongue for the Bini Kingdom. I've said it time and time again. In Biafra, they'll be like Monaco in Biafra because they have rich history that is worth preserving. The Bini people are Asian people as well. I respect their culture very much. I love it. They are, they are very strong people. It was only us and the Bini people that is the white man. Bini fought the white man. That's why I respect them. The same way that the difference did. We are the only people that force the white man to a standstill in the whole of West Africa. Bini and Biafran people. Bini can be principality. Not a principality according to Pentecostal Christ, please. Not that type of principality. A principality is a self governing enclave in Biafra land. Bini will be because we want to see them thrive. And the culture is very diverse. And I love it. Very 
very diverse. I love it. They left the things that held us together. The governor of last day is near Sumika. And go, man. He will not link up with uh, Abia State Governor. Or he must still know. He's now telling us that uh, people from him, the far east central state that they now carve real rivers and named Niger Delta is now related to people from Bini by blood. More than their fellow brothers that uh, in, live in the same compound in Imo State. That is the stupidity of South South and the South East. I keep harping upon this very thing every blessed day. People language all the way to Opobo. Is there anybody in LMA, in River State, who doesn't understand Igbo language? Is there anybody in LLA who do not understand Igbo language? Is there anybody in Opobo tonight as I on air who do not speak nor understand Igbo language? Then why are you hiding yourself from your own flesh and blood? Because you follow an and told you or asked you to. <laughs> That's why they kill you. One day you'll understand it. One day you'll understand it. They say they are negotiating with terrorists and bandits. The same presidency that came and killed IPOB for no reason, of course, at the behest of the governors and then would of Hanes and Daran and due to greed, envy, and jealousy. Today And is not a crime according to fair decision of the presidency. Remember, they, they, they now use the word presidency because there is no Buhari, so it's like a favorite of um, Haki Yari, Munguno, um, and Mama and Dara. Of course, you should just say, um, the rest of the four, and um, I think it's the second presidency they are called. During the time of Jonathan, did you have a presidency? Or Yaradua. No. Nothing like presidency. You had the president. But in the since the presidency, any idiot can speak for them. That will be free at all. But we're here to educate and enlighten you for free. This is Radio Biafra and the whole world is listening. And bearing us witness. My happiness today is that people come out and say, Oh, but, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, Mazen Nam the Kano, all oh, the things you sell for, they have all come to pass. Of course, it will come to pass. But it is the truth. And God is with us. God is with IPOB. The more they try to brutally suppress us, the more we grow all over the world. The more formidable. Every, the more they buy people from within IPOB uh, to maybe rebel or turn into idiots which they make themselves to become, the more strong they become. Every blessed day, they know that they will. people come and people go. IPOB continues relentless in its pursuit of truth, justice, and freedom for all. Not just for Biafran, I want freedom for Yoruba people. I want freedom for baggy people. I want freedom for Hausa people. I want freedom for all the oppressed minorities in the zoo. Or should I say oppressed majorities in the zoo? I want freedom for everybody. Let the people decide who they want to go into an alliance with, who they want to go into the union with. Allow the people to decide. Britain has no right to come to Africa to create any country. It's impossible. That is why they see you as an inferior. That is why they have no regard for you. That is why they have no regard for you. So when you come back again, shambles. A court in Abuja sacks to show me as the as the chairman of APC. He goes to the same high court in Kano to obtain an injunction. <laughs> hey, Alamadi! <laughs> they went to high court. They sacked him. Oshomole. They dressed him. Oshomole and just color and the few other people is an example that he, no matter how much you serve Alamadi when the when the festival comes, you use a sacrificial lamb. When Salah comes, they slaughter you as a ram. 
president because uh, Elru Fai wants to position him to get James as the president. And some of you will forget that he had consulted people to kill your so called fellow Nigerians in San Kaduna. So for you, you better of that. That's for you. What's the hold on the media? They've won. I so I blame Nigeria. I also blame Yoruba media for most of the things. Most of the impunity in Nigeria is aided and abetted by Yoruba media. I'm one day you will find out. There is something evil about some of them. Some are truthful journalists. I respect that. There is something wrong at the core of Yoruba journalistic ethics. I'm telling you, there is something rotten about them to the core to the bone marrow these things the problem in nigeria is partially down to the media write it down on a piece of paper the evil when european media came together they wrote a bachelor out of office they brought nigeria to a standstill they were pursuing the truth and justice for Abiola. But ever since Tinubu became a beneficiary of that very system of the death of um, MK, he turned the global media into monsters that now support evil. With the exception of the girl that was forcibly married in um, in in Ireland, in the coastal region, and the case of um, Shawere, that they fought very gallantly for. They have always supported evil since uh, Buhari came into power. You see, European media, channels, TV, they are part of the problem. One day you wake up and you realize it, but then, of course, as the black people that we are, it will be too late. They are supporting evil. A court sacked to show in Abuja. He went to the same court man to seek relief. And you're telling Nigeria has a judiciary. Very special. My Lord, let me, let me. And they have come another court again have now okayed the arrest and prosecution of Shomole. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy because he was really a thief. He was a governor. He said he's a comrade, you know, black in the world. He was a comrade, everybody is equal. We are comrade. He was wearing khaki. Khaki up and khaki up and down. We are comrade. And let us say we are uh, glasses. <laughs> comrade. I read the animal farm at the age of 13. George Orwell's animal farm. I was at Government College one, the finest secondary school in the world, of course, in those days. I read George Orwell's animal farm. Farm at the age of 13. From that day, I despised communism and socialism as, a, as young as I was. I see everything in George Orwell's Animal Farm in all these idiots who are in Kake calling themselves comrade like Hoshimole. Where some, yes, all animals are equal, but some are more equal than the others. He will to deceive all of you as the baboons you are. You followed him. He's a comrade, Labour Congress, Labour Party. He's now a bourgeois, living large. His sins has now caught up with him because he was a thief. As a governor, he was a thief. And I hope he goes to jail. I hope he goes to jail. Because they tried and succeeded in their iniquity. Now, if you are, if Nigerian government is pursuing or is that you or wanting to persecute you as they are they tried to do to me and as now doing to Shomole they bring in masked witnesses with what happened in the case of Imo State it is that all a judge needs to do is to say I believe the testimony of them of the masked um, witness number four I think that uh, that uh, Shomole is guilty that's all they need to do they like, I think you could say, if you don't like what I'm saying, please go to kill. I have never. Huh? Why people will actually believe you in a place like that is is beyond me. They are bringing in max witnesses. The law of Nigeria actually says you have the right to confront your accuser eyeball to 
eye face to face. They went and uh, terrorism laws, the laws that they made for them for their full and terrorists. They are now applying on anybody they charge with treason. Do you see why Nigeria shouldn't exist? Why anybody that created Nigeria was working at the direct instructions of Lucifer? I've been telling people, once you say I am a Nigerian, a proud Nigerian, I lose respect for you. Judiciary in Nigeria is the worst on this very earth. And as a uh, powerful quite stated, what is happening in Nigeria now happened to Uganda under the Damin. The same dictatorial tendencies of the regime at time, the same power of the judiciary that they pass whatever judgment the state trials. That's what's happening in Zoom under Bakiari and Jubil and Sudanese. That's what is happening. Anything judgment they want, they get. If they don't get it, they don't be. Expert emotion. Anything they can do to subvert the rule of law, they do it. And you wake up in the morning and you say, I am a proud Nigerian. I say, You are a proud animal. Very sad. They are going to use uh, mass witnesses against Shore. They are going to use it against him. And I said, um, had the Urban newspapers been up in condemnation of the that Max Witnesses, and in fact, of John Tozo, that Max Witnesses should be allowed in my trial. This would have happened. The other ones don't come to them. I am not sure that European media ever knew that when they were supporting evil against me, that it would happen to them. They never knew that. That what goes around comes around. Today, what is happening to them today? Shore is now a victim of masked witnesses. All the judge needs to say, I believe, the testimony of, because what this is doing, what Abak Yari is trying to do, and the rest of the regime, of the dead Buhari, what they're trying to do is to say to the world, we told you we tell him because he's guilty, they will do whatever they can to pronounce guilty. They have a Aban can do it for them. Uh, uh, they have many judges that can do it for them. Just pronounce him guilty. We release him later. Just pronounce him guilty. So they can go to and say, America, you see, all that campaign by now, they can, that uh, uh, show he did nothing. Can you see he's guilty now? That's what they're trying to do. And the judge will buy it. <laughs> because you're animals in a zoo without the benefit of sound education. I am learning and educated. I saw the rubbish in the zoo university and let my father take me out of this hellhole and take me to some people can actually study properly. That's how I went to England. Maxed witnesses. Yoruba media never knew it would come to them as well. It has happened. You come to a court of law. It's like a hospital ward. It's like intensive care unit. You see that bed divided they have in, in a court of law. We come on on, on on witness A to testify. Do you know show sure? No. Have you met him before? No. Felony. Nobody knows. But he's on trial for treasonable felony. Same as me. But Fulani wielding AK for the seven, raping women and killing them. No, no terrorism there. No treasonable felony. They are all we are let's pray for one Nigeria. Let's pray for harmony in the community. These are the double standards that made me to swear that I must see the end of Nigeria. I swear to the Nigerians be destroyed. I'm telling you the truth. It is an evil place, full of evil people. It does not deserve to stand. Showery does not deserve to stand any trial. This is a lesson to Yoruba Vidya. Lesson. Always stand on the side. You are not in competition. You are not. First, you are not. You are not. Be a give up to fall. Nothing will happen to you. That chip you're carrying on your shoulder against evil people will kill you. To kill you, destroy you. To destroy you. Look at your shoulder. He did nothing wrong. 
calling for a revolution and rightfully so rightfully so so the that called for revolution during jonathan's regime are prosecuting a presidential candidate for calling for the same thing that they called for and some of you are on social media defending a a an indescribable regime of ignorance and horror it's terrible very very terrible tell you very terrible these are the things that god saw from heaven and said the heart of a black man is evil that is why africa is suffering that is the truth we black people are evil we always support evil that is why you have no roads no good schools no good hospitals that is why you drink from the drainage from the gutter because your heart is as black as satan what did show they do to deserve being tried in secret but all of you are there quiet dumb like the fool that was why the white man came he will go to one village who read it he will go to another he read it because they are dumb very foolish set of people that is the truth the whole world is here if you like you turn off your radio and cry to bed oh it he is terrible he is insult insult you because you are foolish if you're foolish insult you if you go back and reason it through you know I am right what I'm saying. In a country where please go to the very let me see if I can find a clip for the world to lend to. The same people that read the for for host of them. They were captured. Are you aware of that? Nigerian judiciary. They were captured by the police. By the police by the police and interrogated do you know that the police that of them actually said they're saying i i but i'm saying to our ipob members welcome that hi they're looking for opportunity hey god please make it possible i ask god please make it possible then let me see those who will say we shouldn't carry arms in the open. Please, God, make them to attack us. I'm very happy. I'm a clip for the world to listen to the world to hear. The people that are it for the world, please, let me go for at police arrested his accomplices for electoral fraud. Is today the governor of Ibo State? How am I? Terrible people. I will dissect every day. I will. No, I won't say every day. Let's say that I will, I will dissect the zoo. Dissection of the zoo. The world will look at Nigeria and your Soon they will spit in your face if you say you're Nigerian because they know you're an animal. You cannot reason very well. No pray for you. I mark I want it everywhere. I want that TV. It looks like Oak TV. I want it everywhere for the world to see the stupidity of Nigerian judiciary before their own eyes. Police arrested them. Listen very carefully. I want to start this evening by parading before you. Uh, this four suspects that were arrested in the early hours of today. Uh, the this is the only stop In a hotel, writing laws for who's at them arrested for the possession of what causes materials that long ago, Imo 
post it. Uh, I wish to draw your mind back at the last week, which is the electoral court congress uh, supposed to have been held in the state, but it was cheated because of the fact that, that this group and their sponsor um, stole the electoral material. They stole electoral materials. This is according to the peace of Nigeria. Go, uh, of them. Into this uh, unlawful criminal act, and this is the result that I have. Uh, the, during the course of interrogation, they mentioned one Dr. Ike Injoku. Uh, Dr. Ike Injoku is the sooner coordinator of, of Oweri municipality uh, to Senator Oposo Dima. Oposo Dima hired criminal. This is according to the Grand Police. Uh, to let you know that engineer uh, Ibrahim is a innocent. Uh, is the essay on electoral matters to the same senator. Uh, I'm going to the recovery that was made from the, uh, the suspect. This is the police is already those they call suspects. They arrested them in a hotel in Abuja, in Wuse, that is Wuse Zone 2. The Nigerian police arrested people falsifying results, no results for Hopus Ademma. Nigerian police arrested them, duplicated Hopus Ademma as the mastermind. The same Hopus Ademma was affirmed by the Supreme Court. As having been duly elected in Imo State, the police arrested those that wrote results for Hopos Ademma that the Supreme Court actually admitted in evidence. Police arrested them with the materials, caught them with the materials. Supreme Court of Nigeria admitted it in evidence. <laughs> This UG black people, black, black, unbelievable. For an asset, public officers diverted four billion from a budget. Is that who's stealing in Nigeria? And for an, for an, they are the arch looters. They are the arch looters. They bring money, they, look, they have looted the treasure drag, the tempting the Danish Gary. They looted the treasury dry. The reason why Nigeria was afloat a bit was because of Basanjo's power during the, you know, the this so-called uh, uh, democratic or whatever the plea or dispensation, whatever rubbish they call it. Because Basanjo was there for eight years, and after that Yeradua came, and then obviously um, Jonathan, and now you have uh, people ruling in the name of a dead Buhari. Who is in a grave in Saudi Arabia that the whole world knows, but he keeps saying that Buhari is, of course, they know that man there cannot be something years old. They know that very well. They loot what is in the treasury. This is the foreign e e economics. They loot what is in the treasury. Then they go to China and they borrow. They keep borrowing. And they talk about uh, marginalization. Uh, don't listen to IPOB. Uh, they were telling American ambassador, uh, those that feel they are marginalized. They collected 22.7 billion loan. No allocation to Igbo people. Not one. Damn. The oil comes from me. I've been saying this from time. People don't want to reason and listen. It's all lateral drilling. They feel the oil in Ibo land and they drill it laterally to the coast where they can ship it if you come to Upa, i will show you you come to our mama i will show you if you come to the largest gas field you have in the whole of africa which is in ohaji i will show you if you come to Olo, i will show you you come to Ebony, i will show you you come to i will show you you come to to umwele and aguleri and i will show you all your wells all your pipeline Ship cannot come there to take it, so they drill laterally all the way to the coast, lay pipeline, and they pump the oil. Very simple. 
Very straightforward. They collect, they lose all the oil money. Use the oil, future oil um, sales as collateral, collect the money, and nothing goes to the Igbo states. All. <laughs> An idiot to wake up tomorrow and say, let's work to make Nigeria one. Let's work to make Nigeria great. There are mad people everywhere. This is allegedly doing this. These are people that came into this, came into Nigeria, came into Hausa territory in Gope, which they named Sokoto, with nothing. Today they tell you who is the ruling of state. Once you do rank a data and say, I will give you free water, free life, free everything. They make you governor. We are responsible on demise. But Yoruba media must repent. Yoruba media is the problem in Nigeria. That so many people are killing with impunity is Yoruba media. Any day they rise up to their responsibility to fight this evil, this menace, to crumble overnight. And I said before, every part of Nigeria will receive oil and gas from Biafra for free for eternity. Guaranteed under that means root and covered by the UN so that nobody will as simple as that. On a very promising note, I should say, we bring tonight because to end we maintain very seriously that those who are ignorant may argue foolishly. Biafra is our religion. Our religion is Biafra. Here on radio, Biafra is where we worship. Because from me, to the From here, it is good evening.